This guy's garage. Like and subscribe. Well, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I'm going to focus on the website for the Canadian Energy Regulator, a government website. It's most recent data, 2021. And in 2021, the total cost of imported crude oil in Canada was $14.7 billion, an increase of 30% over the previous year. Of that $14.7 billion, we brought in 15% from Saudi Arabia for over $2 billion. We brought in 13% from Nigeria for $1.9 billion, so over $4 billion from those two countries. Is oil coming from Saudi Arabia and Nigeria subject to the same rigorous regulations around upstream and downstream emissions as oil coming from Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Newfoundland and Labrador? Uh, thank you for the question. I have, as you know, the Canadian Energy Regulator falls under Minister Wilkinson, so natural resources. I don't have the data that you're referring to in so my front of me. So my question is straight up yes or no, because you're the Minister of the Environment. Is oil coming from Saudi Arabia and Nigeria subject to the same rigorous emissions on upstream and downstream emissions as oil coming from Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Newfoundland and Labrador? I don't know by heart the regulations or legislation in Saudi Arabia. Okay, I would imagine that, that Canada's are more stringent. But I, 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 can't, I, I don't have any material be, to, yeah, the to, rules to compare there. The that Canada has applies to oil coming from Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Newfoundland and Labrador would be more strict than the, oils, than the, than the rules Canada applies to oil coming from Nigeria and Saudi Arabia. Canada's own rules. We treat our oil more toughly than we treat foreign oil coming over here? I, I think the answer is yes to that. Well, clearly. I think, I mean, as you can imagine, well, we can't impose, I mean, it's very difficult to impose our bodies of laws and regulations to other nations, just like right. no, we would I, find agreed. it difficult for agreed. other nations to impose their yeah. I'm gonna move, bodies. I'm going to move on. Um, on refined petroleum products, okay, same website. 2021, the total cost of imports, $16.8 billion, up 50% from the year before. From the Russian Federation, 2.4% of those for a total of over $400 million in 2021. Was that oil coming from Russia subject to the same reg rigorous regulations on upstream and downstream emissions as oil coming from Alberta, Saskatchewan, Newfoundland and Labrador? If we want to do a comparison of, uh, of oil import, I would be happy to provide the committee with, with some data that, that I, shows I just, that under to the what previous level government, are you able, as the, imports, of the, environment, the to what, imports of oil me, from, from other order. countries than Canada order. was 50% higher than what it is today. And I could yeah, provide... Minute, I let, let, let's, uh, let's just... Um, I just would like it, uh, the question, uh, the Q&A to be uh, uh, a little more orderly, but uh, go ahead, Mr. Lake. To be clear, he's, he's, he, we can, he can table anything he wants after the fact, but he's not answering the question. To, to what level do, does the minister have access to information regarding emissions in Russia and the regulations around emissions? Uh, emissions are available through, uh, through inventories and that are submitted does the minister to, to trust the United Nations. Whatever information would be coming from Russia on their emissions, upstream and downstream? We, we, we rely on international uh, agencies like, like the UNFCCC or the IPCC for, for, for these informations. Okay, I'm sure Russia has a great record in terms of their reporting to international agencies. Um, and as you know, we don't import any more Russian oil in Canada. In 2021, it was over $400 million in refined petroleum products in 2021. But we don't Oil and anymore. gas in Canada... Revenues from that fund important things like our health care services and our education uh, systems. Um, what does the minister's research, research shows that Russian, the revenues Russia generated from oil sold to Canada might have funded in 2021? As you know, we don't import any more Russian oil in Canada. Could it have been foreseen, though, that Russia might have used the revenues from the sale of, uh, from, from, from uh, oil purchased in Canada over the last seven years, say, um, for something nefarious like the war in Ukraine right now? As you're probably aware, under the previous government, the import of oil was about 50% higher than what it is today, including from about, countries like Russia. To be Russia. fair, the Liberal government's been in power for almost eight years, right? We're talking about 2021 numbers, so there were many years to make decisions on this. Does the, does the Honourable Member, does the Minister perhaps regret rules that benefited 
foreign oil from Russia, Saudi Arabia, Nigeria, and other countries over Canadian oil based in Alberta, Saskatchewan, Newfoundland, and Labrador? We cut down oil imports. Our government cut down oil imports by about 50% compared to the previous government. So I guess that tells you how much we, we care about yeah. this we're, we're much more than the we're previous government did. Yeah. Your we're regulations yeah, are Mr. Lake, Mr. Lake, Mr. Lake, Mr. Lake, we're out of time.